We're going to look at the Croquet operating system from a number of points of view. First, we can look at the main components that make up a Croquet system. There's the reflector, a stateless server running in a data center or on a 5G network running on the internet somewhere. Next, we have the Croquet kernel, a powerful replicated virtual machine that runs bit identically on all of the client systems. Finally, we have the view, which is an interpretation of the state of the kernel. This is where the user can see what is happening as their world evolves, as well as dynamically interact with it. Now let's look at it from a higher level. It's true that Croquet is a traditional server-side and client-side system, but the actual operating system is really made up of the reflector and the replicated kernel. Finally, let's see Croquet in action. When the user interacts with the view to modify the state of the system, instead of the messages going directly to the kernel, which would instantly cause a divergence between the users, the message is encrypted and sent directly to the reflector. The reflector can't view the message, all it can do is add a timestamp to it and redistribute it to all the participants. When the croquet kernel receives the message, it acts like a clockwork that updates internal simulation up to and including the new timestamp event is just received. Once it has done that, it emits an update message to the view which immediately updates what the user sees as a direct result of the original user's actions. The end result is this, a perfectly synchronized system running on multiple devices for multiple users.